Hey, I'm Champagne Lewis. I'm going to be conducting a little experiment today. I've been reading a lot online about different modifications you can perform to your pickups to change the sound and various factors that affect how it sounds. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is seeing the effect of swapping out the pole pieces, the unscrewable ones at least, for different types of screws. What I'm going to be comparing is the screws that are currently in there as pole pieces, um, how it responds without them, how it responds with these set of McMaster screws, which I will put the links to them in the description. We have a stainless steel hex screw here. We have some form of black oxide steel alloy hex screw here, also from McMaster. They don't tell us what alloy it is, so I can't give any specifics on it. Um, and we also have a set of black oxide hex pull pieces I got from Addiction FX. Um, the reason I'm comparing the McMaster to Addiction FX is because obviously the Addiction FX ones should work since they come from a store that supplies parts for guitar pickups. But the McMaster ones I've seen debated online as to whether or not they would work. The stainless steel ones, I like how they look better but they are very unlikely to have much, if any, magnetic properties and thus are unlikely to work. The black oxide ones, however, I can sh demonstrate. Um, as you can see, I've taken off my guitar string, or I took off um, where the strings connect to the bridge so that I can easily put the earpiece of my headphones so I can supply um, a control to it. But as you can see, the black oxide pull screws are very magnetic, so they will hopefully work. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is supplying a white noise that I've EQ'd to be fairly flat in frequency response to the pickups, and then I'm gonna record the output using a DI. I'll do that for with the stock screws, without any screws, and for each of those three other screws, so I can compare the frequency response. After I do that, I'll go ahead and put the strings back in place, retune it and all that, and then I'll probably jam out a little bit so you can hear if there's any just intrinsic audio difference between using each of the pole pieces. Okay, um, before I get started with the experiment, I'm gonna go ahead and play the test signal for you just so you can compare it to the output signal. It'll probably be a little unpleasant to listen to because, as I said, it's white noise, basically. But I just wanted to be able to demonstrate that it will have a fairly, a fairly flat EQ response so that you'll be able to visually compare that to the response with the other, with the it playing through the headphones into the pickups. So here is the test signal. As you can see, there's a pretty flat response across the frequency band. Also, before I begin the experiment, I would like to go ahead and point out that there appears to be some random noise that it's picking up. It appears to be fairly constant in response though, so it shouldn't really affect or bias the results in a way that would prevent us from being able to compare it. Whatever the source of that noise is, is weak enough that when I put my headphones up to it, it doesn't appear to actually affect the results. Okay, so I've got the headphone set up above the bridge pickup with the stock screws in, and I'll begin the test signal. As you can see, there appears to be a large hump in the middle, and then another hump in the high. It dips off at the low end, which is not surprising because, and we would usually EQ that out anyway. Okay, so I've set up to do the next experiment, which is, to do it with out the pull pieces. Now keep in mind, I didn't remove all of the pull pieces on the bridge pickup. I left the slugs intact, but the ones with the flat head tips, these ones, uh, can't really see that, the camera's not focusing. Oh well, um, I left those, I, I removed those. So there will be output, but it, I would assume, would be weaker than with the whole pieces intact. Anyway, here we go.
It's actually really interesting looking. So now I've got the the stainless steel hex pull pieces in place. Um, as I said before, I would like these to work, but due to their lack of magnetic properties, it probably won't. Anyway, so let's go ahead and begin the test. Um, I, unless I'm mistaken, this output is similar to with no pull pieces at all, which means that they would probably work worse than having other pole pieces, but I'll have to go back and A, B them because seeing it separately, it's harder for me to judge. But I think that's about what the waveform was without the pole pieces. So let's go on to the next one. I've got the black oxide hex screws from McMaster installed. Um, I was actually really impressed to see that the diameter of the heads perfectly fit into the pickups. And, if I wanted to, I could have screwed them all the way in flush with the pickups, uh, but I decided not to so that they'd be roughly level with how the heads of the regular pole pieces and the previous pole pieces were. Now, I'm going to go ahead and begin the experiment. I've got the Addiction FX black oxide hex pole pieces installed, so let's go ahead and see how it differs from the other pole pieces. That was interesting, it actually looked distinctly different than the other ones. Anyway, I'll put together a graph at the end of this so that we can actually um, see them side by side and more accurately compare them.